Hello YouTube, this is Utsi, and welcome to episode 48 of my Minecraft Let's Play. Hi, how you doing? I've been pretty busy. Um, let's see, take a quick peek up here. You can see the mob XP slash item farm is up above cloud level. I think we got 10 levels there, and we're going to check that here in a minute because I want to be sure. Um, I fixed up most of my items uh, or tools and weapons and such just testing out the rates here seeing how they're doing and as they were you know as I was gaining XP I just went ahead and repaired a lot of this stuff I actually made another diamond axe not too bad for century 4 breaking 3 I haven't used it yet either because uh, this one's about to die I uh, repaired all that stuff uh, I have not enchanted any of my armor yet um, and I've been putting the ender chests and key locations. Uh, we have one here. I think that was there last time. Um, let's drop down here. I have one up in here now. Um, and I think I put one over here. That might have been all the locations where I have them. Yeah. You know what? We're going to check and see how tall up. And I, and I like to keep one. I think I mentioned that last time. I like to keep one in my chest, or in my inventory, just so uh, if I ever need to access it, I can. Um, you know, I'll, let's go ahead and take a peek in here. I got something special to show you. Look at there, some mossy stone. Um, I found a little skeleton spawner just past the pumpkin farm back over here. Uh, I was in a cave. Um, I went down and relit up all this cave again, and I stumbled across that. Um, so yeah, I got some more mossy. Let's go and grab that anyway. Um, yeah, I found a couple more diamonds. I'm keeping this fortune pick in here too because I silk touch my ores and then I just, you know, break them down and I don't want to have to go back to storage to get this, so I'll just leave this in here. Um, in the spare mine cart. You could probably use a spare mine cart. Gas tears. This is very rare. I only have two of them. I, don't, I just don't spend much time in another farming them, I guess. Uh, I got three more chests. That's plenty. I don't know where I'm going to scatter the rest of them. Um, I guess I need to put... Do I have one in the end? Yeah, I have one in the end. Um, maybe in the stronghold. Another one will go. But anyway, I'll just keep them on me. Uh, it was really helpful when I was mining out because um, you know, I'd fill this whole thing up with blocks and uh, keep on going for a while. And I would just silk touch this down because I always take my silk touch pitch pick, silk touch pick with me when I go mining, uh, caving, uh, so I can fortune the ores. So yeah. But let's get up here and see how tall this guy is. I th each layer is five levels, so as long as I'm like 50 blocks, then I'm pretty sure I'm at 10 levels, which is all I want to be. Uh, I think I am. I wasn't 100% sure, because I just kept going and going and going and going. And it, it takes a lot of blocks to do one level. Um, almost, it's almost 500 blocks level, um, I think. It's a lot. And uh, what I would do, I'd do a level, then I'd get some bone meal, and go to the my little makeshift uh, tree farm I had there and get some more wood and then go back and you know just kept repeating the process until I got it all done. We are up here a long way. Wow. Yeah. Even more. Let's keep going. I'll show you the top too. It's just lit up a couple torches. Let's see. I want to get over there. I don't want to get near it because it will blow up on you. Um... Let's see how far down. Let's see how it is in relation to this little thing. Okay, good. We're in line. Okay, so let's count down is what I want to do. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, sorry for cursing there too. Sorry about that. <laughs> Did not mean to do that, of course. Oh man, let's get the right there. Silly me. Alright. Let's do that again, but this time, let's not jump off like a fool. Get rearranged here. I'm a bit anal when it comes to this stuff. Uh, it drives me crazy when my stuff is not in order because um, I can't find it and I'm all discombobulated. And, uh, you know, you get to a mob and my instinct is to hit one because I want to do this and then two to get to my bow and I don't know I just I like using the quick keys every once in a while and 
can't do it when they're all over the place. All right, let's do this again. This time without dying. <laughs> that was funny. Um, but yeah, I finished this. I did a little caving. Uh, we're gonna put that mossy stone, I think, on this end, this plaza here. We're gonna do that today too. Um, I did nothing in the end, uh, not beyond what I had shown last episode. Um, actually, I, didn't, I don't even think I've been to the end since last episode. I, I didn't even go there. Um, I was just, I wanted to get this tower built. And quite frankly, I don't think I really need an ender farm anytime soon. It would be nice to have just to get the pearls. But there are other ways to get pearls. I can build a little makeshift pearl farm without having to uh, build all that thing up. Because one thing I'm, I'm lacking is um, a good supply of slimes. Because uh, you need slime balls. You need a lot of them. All right, let's figure this out. One, two, three, four, five. There's one level. Two levels. Three levels. Four levels. Five levels. Six levels. Get down. Seven levels. Eight levels, nine levels, ten, and then at the bottom, um, I think I have uh, I have a couple levels built up, or a little. I have a place to walk in there, so uh, I can do some maintenance on the um, water break. Um, so there is like a, a level there that's a false level. Uh, I mean, it's probably every bit five high, but uh, it's not a real spawn level. And I built it the same way I showed you last time, all ten levels. So uh, that's where we're going to leave it. I don't think I can need to go any higher. The rates in it seem to be g fine. Um, it doesn't take very long at all to get levels up. Um, just you know, just stand there for a bit, and boom, we got all your levels. So yeah, very very excited to have that done. All right. Let's go ahead and put some of this mossy into our plaza here. And I just want to get this end. I'll just do this side here. Now, for the rest of the episode, what I think I want to do... Collect these, see how... Once we get to 51, I know to stop, right? I'm going to get a good ways. Um, one thing I thought to do... I think I need to add another. You know, let's uh, sorry, there while I was thinking. I think I need to add like another ring of pumpkins or jack o' lanterns around the outside of my perimeter. Um, maybe a layer or two just to extend the lights out a little bit. Uh, I think that'll help because when it gets dark what should happen is with the surface being all lit up my rates at night and my rates at day yeah, it looks a lot better should be the same and I've noticed they're not. I noticed during the day the rates are better which means at night there's still room for these mobs to spawn on the surface. And I think it's because I haven't got the edge lit up enough yet. Um, so we're going to do that today. We're just going to dedicate this episode to our XP farm here, our mob spawner trap. And I've got a ton of jack-o'-lanterns. I probably need to stop and get some more, um, some more torches. There's some more coal to make some more torches. Let's just get these while we're here. I'm not sure how many I'm going to need. Uh, I know I have hundreds. But uh, we're going to get them all. Let's go ahead and grab a couple stacks. More than what I'd need, I guess. And... Let's go ahead and nap, too, while it's getting dark. I made some speed potions, too, while I was... We're getting some levels up. I just... Eh, heck, it, heck with it. I just made some speed potions, because... They're cool. I like being fast. It's fun. Um, let's 
see. I got some wood in here. Yeah, I do. That's probably plenty to make all the sticks we need. Oh yeah, that'd be plenty. And heck, that's probably more than enough torches. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think I have that many. I do got a lot. Right, let's go ahead and put this back. And since these are sticks broken down, let's go ahead and just put them in there. And let's make some of these guys. And we'll go ahead and get some more. I think I'll get another. This should work out just fine, I think. Might be one torch over. Assuming this is all grown out, which it may not be. Yeah, it's not. Oh well. I had recently harvested. Maybe this guy will break and I can use that other pick. Even if it doesn't break, I'm going to use it on the last row. Maybe this middle row here. I want to see how fast that pick goes through this stuff. I bet you it just cruises. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Definitely you notice the difference. I guess it's not too drastic between... I mean, that's just efficiency one. It does pretty well. So I guess it's not a huge jump. But it's noticeable. I don't want to do that. Got greedy, wanted this guy. That's why I did that. Alright. Let's get the rest of these. And I might not need all these, but oh well. I certainly didn't need all that coal, did I? Oh well, again. Alright. And right over here, I made a little path with some torches. Is where... Right down here is where that skilly farm is. Where that skilly... What do you want to call it? Spawner is. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. Just like to know where they are in my world, you know? Alright, so... Yeah. I definitely want to extend it out just a bit. Uh, maybe a few more blocks out. All around the perimeter. Whoa. Just to see if that helps with these rates. And I'm sure it will. I'm not going to bore you guys with this, because... Uh, this is really all I want to do this, do today is uh, try and get the rates up on this farm because I just have not been in the mood to work on the uh, the Ender farm. Uh, I need to get slimes, like I said. And I think the best way to get them without cheating and finding uh, where all the slime chunks are loaded. Which you can do. There's apps out there. People have figured out the algorithms, uh, you know, with the uh, slime generations or the slime uh, spawning. You know, they they know where they spawn, so you can find that chunk. Uh, go to this little utility or something somebody has online and uh, page they've created, and enter in your seed, and it'll give it some coordinates and it'll tell you exactly where you need to go to find slimes. Um, and then from there you can build a spawner. Um, I think you can also figure it out systemically too, or systematically uh, would be the proper word I think. Because um, you can tell when a chunk loads. Uh, I don't know how to do it quite honestly. Uh, I guess if you, if you actually pay attention see it's, let's see I, these numbers do mean something. Um, entities 143. I don't know what that C line means. Um, let's see. Where is the chunk stuff at? I don't know. Chunk cache 441. I guess there's... I know there's a way you can tell. What it is, I'm not sure. Maybe somebody knows and they feel free to tell me, but... Uh, I think Ether's done it. That guy's done everything. But um, there's a way to tell what chunk you're in, or how many chunks you have loaded, or something of that nature, when you change chunks. And then from there, you know, if you 
hey, I, I'm in a spot where some slimes are, and if I move so many spots, maybe it's every 15, maybe it's based upon the, the coordinates, every 15 blocks I think is a chunk, so I guess if you figure it out that way you can determine if you're in a slime chunk or not, uh, without cheaty methods. But, anyway, I'm not going to do that. One thing else, since we're over here looking at this thing, one thing I had thought about making this out of is quartz, the new quartz blocks. I think that would look really cool. Um, and I think I do want to make it an even number across and all that good stuff, but I may want to do that. And I don't know if I'm just going to wait until the official update comes out from Mojang once they have everything finalized with their big redstone update that they've been working on with uh, you know what I mean, all the changes in it or if I'll just upload or go over to a snapshot uh, and just bring our world to a snapshot uh, I need to find out if OptiFine works with the snapshots and if they do then I shouldn't have any problems um, with upgrading to a, a snapshot. So, yeah, I'll find that out. And if that is the case, then that may be, may be what I do. Um, but yeah, you get the point here. You see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to go all the way around the perimeter, build it out just a little bit more, and then see what that does to the rates. Um, I think it'll help. Uh, it's certainly not going to hurt. And Maybe then I'll know that um, you know, I need to just come out a little bit more, which is fine. We'll, we'll do this. But anyway, I want to say thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and thanks again, YouTube. I'll see you later. Bye.